hello everyone, how is everyone doing in this measure self here? Today, we are reacting to crazy coincidences. Guys, think about it. We were all just doing something just now. And then all of a sudden, isn't it a coincidence that we all clicked on this video? We could have clicked on any other video. We could be doing anything right now. But isn't it a coincidence that we are all watching this video right now? Whoa, whoa. My cousin was in his future wife's family picture on a trip to Rio de Janeiro seven years before they met. Guys, let's take a family's picture. Yay! Oh, God damn it. Just enjoy the damn view. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Do you guys ever think you have met your future partner sometime in the past, but you just didn't realize? <laughs> Man, all right. I, I, I do feel like the world is sort of connected in some sort of way. All right, who knows, guys? Who knows? Well, this person found another dog, <laughs> which just so happened to have a, a missing eye. <laughs> but it's the other eye. <laughs> Damn, okay, that's that's crazy, guys. All right. <laughs> and they both had the idea to go shopping on this day <laughs> and put them in the shopping cart, like, <laughs> the exact same way. <laughs> this is too much of a coincidence, man. A US nurse discovered that her colleague doctor was a premature baby she cared for 28 years ago and this guy lived his whole life <laughs> not even knowing that he was going to become a nurse <laughs> and look he met the nurse that once looked after him oh <laughs> look at this little <laughs> premature baby it's so cute a married couple in china discovered they appeared in the same photograph as teenagers whoa <laughs> look and they both took a picture of this exact moment man that is such a mind blown when they realized this that's so crazy guys wow this pigeon pooped on this leaf and the poop looks like a pigeon wow what a coincidence <laughs> this guy got into an uber <laughs> and realized that this he met his twin <laughs> and look they just so happen to be wearing the same outfit too <laughs> except this guy is is way skinnier and has a really cool mustache god damn it i wish i was as cool as him <laughs> they just so happen to stack these newspapers on the line, this is not a coincidence. <laughs> but now I'm confused, guys. Was it a coincidence or was it not a coincidence? The person who folded it didn't want it to seem like a coincidence because he wanted it to look like this because uh, so he made it like that. And that's why it's not a coincidence. But maybe it is a coincidence because that is the exact sentence that was folded on that piece of paper when it said this is not a coincidence. These brothers were reunited today. <laughs> and when he came back home, he realized he's wearing the same outfit as his brother. Wow, okay. I got married last month. My wife and I thought we met for the first time in our 20s. We found out a few years later that our mothers were best friends in high school. This photo was displayed at our wedding showing our actual first meeting. <laughs> and they didn't even realize that. It took, it took this photo on their wedding to realize that. <laughs> Man, we could have even met our future partner when we were babies. Man, guys, all right, somewhere out there, guys, our partner is is out there on this world, all right? We haven't even met them yet. Or maybe we have, we don't know. Uh, peekaboo, oh, I see you. Uh, peekaboo, uh, oh yeah, I see you. Out of all the license plates to have. <laughs> no way. <laughs> all right, that, 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 is, that is a crazy coincidence. <laughs> I'm just imagining the person that noticed this and was like, no, I need, to, I need to take a picture. Oh, I got it quickly, I'm gonna miss my moment. Wow, this guy found the exact photo <laughs> that was used. <laughs> <laughs> on the cliff bar. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a, if that's a coincidence. I, I think this guy, like, <laughs> went to go find this exact picture. My friend opened two fortune cookies in a row. Love is on its way. Oh, that's what the first fortune cookie said. Uh, let's read the other one. Love. Oh, oh, love is on its way. Oh, n next came love. <laughs> Author successfully predicts what technology will be like in the future. <laughs> okay, so he wrote this article in 1999. I've got a cell phone, a pocket organizer, a beeper, a calculator, a digital camera, a pocket
pocket tape recorder, a music player, and somewhere around here, I used to have a color television. Sometime in the next few years, all of these devices are going to meld into one. Well, yeah, that's it, guys. All right, we have phones now, okay? All right, it does everything. It will be a box less than an inch thick and smaller than a deck of cards. Wow, that was right. <laughs> the box will have high-res color screen, a microphone, yep, a plug for a, a headset <laughs> or earphones, yep, <laughs> a camera lens, wireless co connectivity, cell phone, and beeper functions. Wow. Guys, remember beepers and pages? No, of course you guys don't. It will have enough processing power and memory to function as a desktop system. It will be able to dock with a keyboard and full-size monitor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Man, it is so accurate. Damn. Like, seriously, though. I mean, I mean, we were, we were headed towards that direction. I mean, I don't think it was that crazy of a prediction that this could have happened. I mean, we had all this technology at the time, but <laughs> I guess there was one person that was like, hey, why don't we just put them all together into one. Whoa, my dad's index tip was cut off when he was 10. And uh, when he had a child, <laughs> their <laughs> index finger just so happened to be shorter than their pinky. What? That's crazy. No way. No way. Uh, I mean, I, maybe, maybe genetics does <laughs> come down from from personal experience. I have no idea, guys. All right, who knows, all right? I feel like there's just so much stuff that we still don't even know. Stop asking why did the chicken cross the road? I just want to get to the other side, man. Get it? The chicken crossing the road? <laughs> I only just recently realized uh, to get to the other side, uh, it, it's a suicide joke. The, the, the chicken wants to commit suicide. That's why he's crossing the road. Wow. <laughs> Imagine going to the doctor and then realizing that you are <laughs> being used <laughs> as the model. <laughs> that That's cool coincidence though. <laughs> Whoa, look, his phone case <laughs> literally matches the desk. Like, even, like the lines match up perfectly. <laughs> oh, there was a storm and these trees blew over. <laughs> Man, that was, that's just luck, guys. So this guy I went to 7 Eleven. <laughs> he paid exactly 7 Eleven dollars. <laughs> and if you look at the time, <laughs> it says that it happened at 7 Eleven. <laughs> My husband Ken found a mini plastic version of himself. <laughs> look, it's a Ken doll. <laughs> Why would they make a Ken doll <laughs> that looks like this dude? <laughs> sure, I mean, I guess Ken bought it because it looked like himself, Ken. Whoa, my my girlfriend and I both took pictures of from the same angle at the same show three years before they met each other. <laughs> How? How did you even realize that? <laughs> See what I mean, guys? All right. <laughs> Who knows the kind of people that we have met? Uh, and we didn't even realize. My rental car is on the left, parked at a winery, and came outside to find this. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's the same car with, look, it's the same license plate too. It's just one more or less. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, that what a coincidence to find your, your car's uh, double. This shopping aisle has baby needs <laughs> and beers and wines <laughs> on the same aisle. <laughs> we try to say the baby needs needs beer and wine <laughs> or do we need beer and wine to te to uh cope with our baby's needs i think that's it actually all right this guy's parked at the australian red cross which is a blood service <laughs> and the license plate just so happens to say vampire wow oh i hear there's blood in here i want to suck in all the blood wow these two trucks just so happen to say Taylor and Swift. Wow, Taylor Swift would be proud. <laughs> the book aisle. <laughs> uh, some of the books are for marriage and some of the books are for slavery. Or they're, or <laughs> they're pretty much <laughs> the same thing, all right? <laughs> That's why you put them in the same section. <laughs> wow, out of all the names you could have named your two shops and out of all the places you could have started up your business, the property shop and the proper tea shop <laughs> just so happens to be together wow okay so if you want to look for a property uh you can have a, a property at the property shop while looking at a property 
at the property shop. Wow. Uh, breaking news! There seems to be a robbery taking place right now, and police are looking for this robber. Um, uh, uh, hey, kind of looks like, um, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> no way. No way this is real. Come on now. <laughs> I want to see this live, all right? That, that's, I want to see the video of this. Whoa, these two guys <laughs> got on an airplane, and they just so happened to sit next to someone that looks just like them. They could have sat anywhere, anywhere on this shitty Ryanair flight. But no, they just so happened to sit next to each other. That Okay, that, that's a crazy coincidence. Come on now. All right, so one of our friends just posted, I was just jogging home from Walmart and some person followed me in their car blaring Eye of the Tiger. And then another post from a different friend said, <laughs> I just drove home from Walmart and followed a jogger blaring Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Damn, imagine seeing this on your timeline. Okay, I think I would have to tell my friend that this is the person that did it, all right? Five hour energy, get your energy right now. <laughs> What's going on? What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> Man, it must be a tiring job delivering five hour energy everywhere. If only you had something that could give you energy. Warning, texting while driving kills. <laughs> okay, uh, but for more driving tips, text safety to 79191. You can do it right now, actually. Oh, oh no, wait, don't do it right now. Oh, okay, yeah, do not text while driving. And definitely don't text for safety tips while driving, even if it is gonna keep you safe, except texting it will definitely not keep you safe. <laughs> okay, it's just a dog that looks exactly like the the <laughs> the <laughs> the blanket or rug or whatever. <laughs> Do you think they bought the dog first or they bought the blanket because of the dog? Who knows? Come see TV psychic Joe Power. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on a second. Uh, it, we had to cancel uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. We did not see this coming, uh, especially jo Joe Power. Wow, come on, Joe Power. You call yourself a psychic kick yet you couldn't even see that your tour was going to be cancelled if it ain't broke then break it <laughs> oh, oh, oh oh i didn't i didn't mean break the sign <laughs> okay i don't think this is a coincidence honestly if i saw this sign i too would want to break the sign <laughs> oh look these two couples are having a meal <laughs> and they're wearing <laughs> the same color tops oh wait no the woman's wearing the pink top and then this, this one the man's wearing the pink top <laughs> Oh, man. And they just so happen to sit next to each other, too. <laughs> Whoa, look at this Starbucks. <laughs> it sort of looks like that they're like 10 years apart or whatever. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's crazy. Wow, this sleeping dog, the shadow on it spells dog. That's... That's, that's a crazy coincidence. <laughs> Whoa, look, this guy applied to, to run in a marathon. He was wearing a t-shirt which said 33607 and they gave him the number 33607. And turns out the time it took him to do the marathon was three hours, 36 seconds and, and, and six and 07 milliseconds. Wow, okay, that's that that is... Uh, uh, a coincidence, definitely. What? These two companies who made different versions of white rice uses the same picture, but just the other side. <laughs> no way. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. Are these people <laughs> serious? <laughs> no way. Do these girls know each other? <laughs> they just so happened to think, oh, what kind of outfit I want to wear today? Oh, I'll wear this one. And they just so happened to go to a red box, which... Who the hell even goes to a red box nowadays? <laughs> I, I, I never could believe this. It's a thing in America where you go to a place to rent out a DVD. And what, you have to put the DVD back in the red box? <laughs> Man, no one uses these things anymore, honestly. Uh, mommy, why am I in this book right here? <laughs> Aw, what a cute kid. <laughs> Man, okay, they didn't even realize that this kid was in this book. But wouldn't it be so cool to be this kid? All right, you would think this book was made about you. Wow, this guy looks exactly like 
this pair of socks. I mean, I think he bought these pair of socks just because it looked like him. <laughs> I know I would want some socks that had my face on it. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Uh, if you match uh, <laughs> uh, a, a, the queen's head with a 50 pence coin, it looks like the queen's head is running. Wow. Whoa, look, it's a Bart Simpson. <laughs> uh, what is this, a Butterfinger? <laughs> but look at the packaging. His hair looks exactly like Bart's hair. Look, this person was driving and the reflection matches up perfectly with what's going on behind, <laughs> behind them. Damn, okay. And this person just took this picture at this exact moment. That That's a coincidence, guys. <laughs> look, these two girls are waiting in line for something. They just so happen to have blue hair. They just so happen to be wearing the same jacket and the same scarf. Ah, oh, if only if this guy had hair where this guy had and this guy had hair where this guy had. But no. <laughs> this person standing between two cars. <laughs> one, one's red, one's blue and her dress is split perfectly. <laughs> so uh, imagine some guy from far away just being like, oh my god, look at this. I need to take a picture. Oh my goodness, I wish this was Andrew Scott. Oh hey, I'm Andrew Scott. A nice t-shirt by the way. Damn, she wished it was Andrew Scott and then look, she got to her wish of being next to Andrew Scott. Who the hell is Andrew Scott? This person was suggested people you may know on Facebook and the two profiles literally, look, they took a picture at the exact same location. They both use this as their profile picture and it just so happened to connect at the exact place. That's insane. Oh my goodness, I need a piece. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that was a perfectly timed picture right there. The dog's literally peeing in his mouth. Whoa, look, the dog gave birth to three puppies and they have <laughs> this like similar patterns of, of spots on their backs. Isn't it crazy, man? Like, <laughs> genetics is crazy, guys. Wow, look, it's a picture of a bunch of flamingos and they are in the shape of a flamingo. Wow. So this finished flight number 666 departed at 1 p.m. on Friday the 13th. <laughs> Already an unlucky day. <laughs> the airplane was 13 years old, the same as the day, and it successfully landed in hell. <laughs> uh, Helsinki airport code. Wow. Okay, that is... Uh that's a big coincidence. Good thing that the, the flight landed safely. Oh, did this fly die? Oh, no. Come on, fly. Out of all the places you could have flied into, you flew into the cactus. Oh, what a way to go out. If you have cracks, then buy this. Could buy cracks. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, don't buy this one, though, because it's cracked. Damn, we got to put some goodbye cracks on this goodbye crack. Uh, container so we could say goodbye to the cracks. Oh no, don't tell me this is real. <laughs> is it a lucky shot or an unlucky fly? I, I think it's an unlucky fly, honestly. <laughs> TNT, sure we can. Oh, 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 oh no, uh, no, but we can't go through, through this tunnel. Oh no. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> look, if you look at the water formation, it literally looks like an elephant. What? And they just so happen to take a picture at this moment. What is the coincidence? <laughs> this dog looks like it's floating in the bubble. <laughs> That's just adorable, honestly. Wow, look, there's a Mario's Bakery <laughs> next to Luigi's <laughs> Italian restaurant. Wow, and and <laughs> and you're right next to each other. That's great. Whoa, this is insane. If you look at this picture, it looks like the legs are covered in oil, but it's it's not. Th what they did is they painted white streaks on their legs. And if you if you notice it, it's just paint. You realize it's not oily legs. It's it just looks like it. It looks like the light is bouncing off her legs, but it's not. It's just white paint. Whoa, I, I never seen this. That's crazy. Welcome to Dude Chilling Park, the best place for a dude chilling at the park. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's a, it's a keep a Portland weird <laughs> sign, <laughs> which happens to have Darth Vader riding a unicycle in what it looks like to be a skirt <laughs> and his bagpipes <laughs> shoot out Fire? Okay, that is definitely keeping Portland weird. Wow, apparently these two siblings gave each other different puzzles 
for the holidays and it's the exact same location but different puzzles. Wow, these siblings really do love puzzles, I guess. Whoa, okay, that's crazy. <laughs> the back of this van is exactly like the place that they're at. No way. I can't I can't say this is a coincidence. Come on now. This must have been planned. What the heck? And you know, I'm so tired. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, me too, bro. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, me also, man. Oh, my goodness. Damn, all right. These guys look so much alike, and they're all sleepy from their jobs. Okay, guys, that was some crazy coincidences. Isn't it crazy that you liked the video right now at the exact moment that thousands of other people did? <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to comment down below any crazy coincidences you guys have. Because honestly, I feel like everyone has a story about some sort of coincidence that has happened to them, okay? Honestly, I feel like our lives have been planned out in some sort of way. And we don't even realize this because, you know, we're just out here living our lives. But who knows, guys, all right? Maybe all of our life has been already set out for us. And we are just out here living it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Give you something to think about. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Meshsoft.com if you want to get the plushie or the book. Either way, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.